So, welcome back to our EBC Brakes Tech Talk series. I'm down here in Bristol today at our friction factory and I'm here with Steve Payne, our research and development manager. So, we're going to be looking at our motorcycle, scooter, ATV, UTV, or if you're watching in the States, side-by-side -side brake pads. So, let's get into this. So today we're going to be looking into a few of the available options that we have at EBC for motocross bikes, UTV, or if you're from the States, side by side. So Steve, could you tell us about these two pad options? Yeah, sure. We've got the, the R pad here um, and the Eurasia version, the MXS pad. Okay. And what are they designed for? Well, these are designed for off-road use, um, scramblers, dirt bikes, um, ATV, UTV, four-wheelers. Um, in dust and muddy conditions. So if someone was to install these pads over an OE type pad, would you get an improved pedal or lever feel? Yeah, we've got a good high friction level here, so you, you're going to feel a real positive um, positive bite when you when you pull the lever or press the pedal. Okay, and obviously I think you answered this earlier by saying they're an off-road pad, but are they road legal? They're not, no. They, these, these are engineered for, for working off-road, uh, particularly in dust and dirt and mud. Okay, and do these need to be run with an EBC disc or rotor, or could they be run with your OE? No, these will work against the OE rotor. Um, we'd always recommend our, our own discs because they're extremely good quality, but um, no, you, it's not, not a necessity. Okay, and with these being a sintered pad, would you need to upgrade to braided lines and a higher temp fluid or is it not a necessity? Uh, it's not, not absolutely essential now, I mean it will, give you, it will give you some benefit, particularly if you're really pushing it, if you're racing, but um, no it's not, not essential. Okay, and what goes into manufacturing these pads? Well there's, there's sintered, as, as they say in the name, which, uh, which means basically it's, uh, it's a fused copper, uh, so it's, it's metallic bonds holding the thing together, which makes it extremely thermally stable. Okay, and what is the best way to bed these pads in? Um, well, you need to take it relatively easy to start with to seat them into the disc. Uh, there's full details on the uh, on the website, which is probably the best place to go. Thank you very much, Steve. Um, if you'd like to find out any more information about any of these pads, head to the links in the description. Um, keep an eye on the channel for the next episode, and we'll see you then.